Good morning at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway this morning with John Pappas. Good morning, sir, again. Good morning. I want to just review what we've done because we have two very special guests. This was an old transporter that R Wilbur Shore ran, is that correct? Yes, yeah. it's the Boyle Hauler. It's the... Uh, the original. Yeah, the original, the 1934 uh, truck that they had that they used to move their race cars. Wilbur drove it to New York to pick up his uh, brand new Maserati in and, 1939. And there's a perfect replica. Of it. Yeah, and there's a perfect repl a replica of the 3032. Okay, now I have to interrupt you because we have yeah. two special guests to get to. I was going to tell you, you ask you to tell me a Wilbur Shaw story, but I got two better people. No offense. No, 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 no. No, no. offense. Much better. Okay, Much better. here we go. And here they are. Listen to this, who we have here this morning at the track. Bill Shaw, son of Wilbur Shaw, and the great Donald Davidson. Good morning, Hi, guys. Good morning. You? I want you, Donald Davidson, yeah. to establish, give me some sense of who Wilbur Shaw was oh. and why he's such an icon. One of the most significant, uh, important people in the history of the track. Mm. And uh, not only as a driver, a uh, three-time winner, the first person to win back to back, and he almost won three in a row, which has still never been done. But uh, what so, do you mean he almost won? What well, happened? because he was leading at the three-quarter mark in 1941 when a wheel oh, yeah. collapsed and he crashed mm -hmm. leading. But uh, then came the war, and he worked for Firestone Aircraft Division um, in Akron, and they got permission to do a special test. Uh, before the war was over, so they came here, and the place was in such terrible condition, it looked like it was done for. And so he tried to buy the track himself, wow. and then eventually was led to Tony Holman in Terre Haute. Holman bought the track, Wilbur Shaw was the president and general manager, and they got it going again. If it wasn't for Wilbur Shaw, we wouldn't be doing this today. All right, now, I was gonna go to you next, Bill Shaw, but he told such a great story, I didn't want to interrupt him, no. so I'm gonna talk to you at the beginning of the next segment. All right. So you've got about an hour to think about your story. All okay. right. Okay, we'll be back with Donald Davidson and Bill Shaw. Incredible story, we'll be back. I'm looking forward <laughs> to that. Wow. I could listen to Donald Davidson tell Indy 500 stories. Right. For days. He knows for, it all. Oh, he knows <laughs> everything. He's just he, well. For instance, yeah. I mean, I grew up in Indiana. I yeah. knew I know about 500. I I knew that they didn't run it in the, in the 40s during right. the war for part of the 40s at least. Didn't realize that it had been so neglected oh, and yeah. overrun, yeah. as they were saying. Yeah. So and then somebody was like, "Oh, I'm just going to buy it," you know. Yeah. So Fantastic good. Looking looking forward. To, yeah, looking forward to more from uh, Dick Wilsey out at the track.